Hey everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Tom Vecchio of FanDuel, who's here to give us his top value plays for week five of this NFL season. What's going on, Tom? We have some really good value plays to look at, you know, full slate of games, so let's hop in. Let's get in there, and let's begin with the Cleveland Browns, specifically Dearness Johnson. Nick Chubb is out this week. Kareem Hunt says he's getting healthier. But last week, it was Dearness Johnson leading this team in rushing, and he's only $5,300 here this week on FanDuel. What kind of performance are we expecting here from Dearness Johnson? As you said, he led the Browns last week with 13 rushing attempts. And I think that's the interesting thing we want to pay attention to. And he also had no targets last week. If we look back to last season where he actually played in all 16 games, he only had seven targets. So when it comes to the passing game, he has almost no involvement. That's where Kareem Hunt should shine for the Browns. Uh, we're looking at him at a very solid $5,300 price tag. This game is a one and a half point spread with the Browns actually the underdog at home. But we know with Kevin Stefanski as the head coach for the Browns, they're going to be continuing to run the ball. If they do fall behind, that's where we're going to see Kareem Hunt take a step forward in the passing game. But if this game is close and they're going to be running the ball, it's probably going to come down to the Ernest Johnson this week for the Browns. Kevin Stefanski loves to run the football, and he's going to utilize both of his backs, even the third third string back, I imagine you'll see in there as well. Uh, Dearness Johnson at $5,300 behind Kareem Hunt, even if he's not going to be involved in the passing game, he's going to have plenty of usage. So Dearness Johnson at $5,300 makes a lot of sense on a fan duel this weekend. Also a good value play is Hunter Renfro of the Las Vegas Raiders. He's even cheaper than Dearness Johnson at $5,100. And even though Henry Ruggs returned to the lineup, returned to practice for the Raiders on Wednesday, there was still no Brian Edwards. And looking at the Raiders as a team, the options for David Derrick Carr are limited. So Hunter Renfro, who's been playing the slot since college with Clemson, once again makes an intriguing option on FanDuel. Exactly. And there's a lot of moving parts, like you said. Ruggs has missed the past two weeks, but he's back at practice. Edwards also missed the past two weeks. He's not back at practice. What what are their statuses going to be leading up to this game? But more importantly, this game environment is what we want to be taking a look at. The Raiders are on the road against the Chiefs. They are 13 and a half point underdogs. This game has an over-under sitting at you know 55 points. They're going to be in a passing game script. They're not going to be able to run the ball with Josh Jacobs. We look at Renfro, and he has 25 targets on the season, which is the second highest behind Waller. He has 17 in the past two weeks, which is actually highest on the team over the past two weeks, even more than Waller. So we're looking at a player that has a consistent role in the offense. And even if Ruggs does come back into the starting line for the Raiders, they still need help in the receiving game. It can't only be Waller. It can't be only taking deep shots with Henry Ruggs. So $5,100 as I would say a clear number two option for uh, the Raiders passing game because he has the consistency with Carr from last season. I'm taking him in a positive game script. The Raiders, we believe, are going to have to throw the ball this weekend. And you're right, Tom. It can't just be Darren Waller. It can't just be the deep shots to Henry Ruggs. You're going to have to go across the middle, and that's where Hunter Renfro shines. He's $5,100. He has the connection with Derek Carr, and he's been consistent, and he's been healthy, which is important. Being in the lineup, being available, it matters. And this week, it matters a lot, especially at $5,100. Finally, your value tight end of the week is Darren Fells of the Houston Texans, who's priced under five grand at forty seven hundred. How are you deciphering here between Darren Fells and Jordan Aikens? Obviously, no Bill O'Brien anymore for Houston. The first game without him as the Texans head coach. How do we expect this offense to change? And how did you decide which tight end to go with for the Texans? Well, I'm very excited to buy into the Texans now that uh, Bill O'Brien is gone. But uh, Jordan Aiken is actually dealing with a concussion. He did not practice as of Wednesday and, you know, late in the week, not practicing, dealing with the concussion. You know, kind of leaves me questioning if he'll be ready to go for Sunday. Under $5,000 for Fells, who is tied for the second most red zone targets on the Texans, is all a good thing. You know, we're not going to see eight, nine targets uh, two fells this week, but get a couple red zone targets, get you know 15, 20 yards and a touchdown. I think it have him breaking value. But more importantly, this is a great matchup to attack against the Jaguars, who are allowing 14.2 FanDuel points per game to opposing tight ends. That is the eighth worst in the league. So we're getting a really, really nice value play in a great matchup uh, in what should be, uh, I would say, a, a game script that could be hitting the over on its total this week. Without Aikens potentially in the lineup, Darren Fells is going to become, I think, highly sought after here, especially at this price of 4700 Get excited because there's no DeAndre Hopkins to throw the ball to. Potentially, there's no Jordan Aikens to throw the ball to, which means Watson's going to rely on, again, people he's comfortable with. And that's Darren Fells. We have seen him produce in the past with a positive game flow and script and a 
new person calling the plays, well, it could be a really, really nice play this weekend on FanDuel. That's going to do it for us here at FanDuel. Hurry up time. You gave us the stars on Tuesday. The values are set now on Thursday. We're ready to rock this weekend. Good luck to you. Uh, it should be an exciting week. Absolutely. And to finish off our DFS coverage, tomorrow I'll be joined by Jim Sonnet as we talk about our favorite stacks here for Week 5. For Tom Vecchio, I'm Greg Sussman. Enjoy Thursday Night Football tonight, and we'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.